क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटी वन इन क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटी वन फोर रेजिस्टेंसेज ईच ऑफ हंड्रेड आर कम्बाइंड टू फॉर्म अ फोर हंड्रेड फॉर्म रजिस्टेंस सो यू कैन सी दैट दे विल बी एडेड इन सीरीज सो इन सीरीज कॉम्बिनेशन आर इक्व टू आर वन प्लस आर टू प्लस आर थ्री प्लस आर फोर टॉलरेंस फॉर ईच रजिस्टेंस इज फाइव परसेंट सो फॉर हंड्रेड ओम रजिस्टेंस टॉलरेंस विल बी इक्व टू फाइव ओम Since the errors, absolute errors are added, so total error or the total tolerance in the combination will be equal to delta R equals to delta R one plus delta R two plus delta R three plus delta R four. Hence, the total will be equal to twenty ohm five plus five plus five plus five. So total tolerance is twenty ohm. Percentage tolerance will be equal to Tolerance divided by total resistance into hundred. It means twenty divided by four hundred into hundred. So it will be equals to five percent. So answer second will be correct option. Our next question is sixty four. In this question, two mercury drops are merged to form a single large drop. So what will be the surface energy of the bigger drop? This is required. so in this case by volume conservation volume of bigger drop will be equals to volume of two small drops so 4 upon 3 pi r cube will be equals to twice of 4 upon 3 pi small r cube this way we can find the radius of the bigger droplet so that is r to the power 1 by 3 now the surface energy e equals to Surface tension into surface area, so T into 4 pi r square. So you can put capital R equals to r to the power. Our next question is question number 64. In this question, two small drops of mercury are merged to form a large drop. and surface energy of the large drop is required so in this question you can apply volume conservation volume of large drop will be equals to volume of two small drops so 4 upon 3 pi r cube will be equals to twice of 4 upon 3 pi small r cube so capital r will be equals to 2 to the power 1 by 3 r now surface energy of the bigger drop will be equals to surface tension into surface area of the bigger drop so t into 4 pi R square. You can put the value of capital R, two to the power one by three into R square. So you will get like this. So the answer will be two to the power eight by three pi R square t. So the correct option is option number four. Our next question is question number sixty-seven. In this case, a block is pushed up the inclined plane of inclination theta, and the force required, the minimum force required to push it up is F one. But when the block is prevented from slipping, then the minimum force required is F two. The ratio of F one and F two is required. so in this case you can see when the body is pushed up the minimum force in that case mg sin theta will act in the downward direction frictional force mu mg cos theta will also act in the downward direction so force will be equals to mg sin theta plus mu mg cos theta and mu is given to you half tan theta so it will be equals to 3 by 2 mg sin theta in the second case when the block is prevented from slipping then frictional force will act in the upward direction mg sin theta will act in the downward direction we will have to apply force to prevent it from slipping in the in the upward direction so we can see f2 plus mu mg cos theta will be equals to mg sin theta so f2 will be equals to mg sin theta minus mu mg cos theta since mu is given to you half tan theta so f2 will be equals to half mg sin theta so the required ratio f1 upon f2 3 by 2 mg sin theta divided by half mg sin theta so the ratio will be 3 and the answer will be option correct option will be fourth